Hello guys, in this lecture, we're going to learn how to display the record of registered users from the database. I have added two more files to our project. One is profile.php and the other one is passprofile.php. So I'm just going to walk you through these files. From the very top of the profile.php page, we have the title and we have the included files. Here I've included passprofile.php to this page. And we have the h1 here showing uh, that this is a profile page then the if statement here we're checking to see if the section username is not set which means that the user is not logged into the system then we are going to display this paragraph and the test here says you are not authorized to view this page then we provide a link to login and also a link to sign up Otherwise, if the user is already logged into the system, we are going to create a table and uh, within this table, we're going to be displaying the username. We're going to display the email and the date the user joined the uh, system. And also here, we provide a link to another page, which is the editprofile.php page. And we are passing a parameter to this page, which is the ID of the user encoded. And we're sending this as a URL parameter uh, with the name user identity. Uh, we're going to talk more about this when we talk about updating a profile. So for now, we're going to, I'm going to show you how we manage to pull out the information that we are displaying here. For each of the table row here, we have uh, two table data. One is the heading, table heading, which is going to show the information about what we are displaying in the uh, other part, which is the TD. So here we have the username and here we are going to display the value of the username, which we are going to retrieve from our passprofile.php page. So let's go over to the passprofile.php page so I can show you how we are pulling out this information from the database. In our passprofile.php page, we've included our database.php and utilities.php. And here we are just checking to see if the section ID variable is set, uh, which means that the user has logged into the system. If you remember in our past login, our past login file, we are creating the section ID when the user logs into the system. So with this, we are going to be able to retrieve this information once the user has logged into the system. So we'll go over to pass profile. If the section ID is set, we are going to get the ID of the user and we are going to query the database using the ID that we have collected here. So these three lines of code does the database query. And then we are going to check if there was any record returned from this query, then we are going to collect the username of the user. We are going to get the email and the date that the user joined the system. And for the date join here, I'm using the string to time function to convert the date from the database to the number of seconds in timestamp uh, since when the user joined the system. Basically, that's what this function does. String to time will help us to pass the date time which the user joined the system into a unit timestamp. In this case, it's going to be the value of the number of seconds since when the user joined the system. So again, then I'm using the string f time which simply formats the value that we're getting here in a user readable format. The first argument here for string f time would be how we want to format the date. And the second argument would be the number of seconds that we're retrieving from this uh, function, which converts the when the user joined the system to seconds. Here I'm saying I want the mod abbreviated which is our percentage B, we abbreviate the mod based on the locale of the user. So this is, if we have January, we're going to have J-A-N. Uh, if it is June, you're going to have something like um, J-U-N and uh, May, we're going to have the complete mod and so forth. All right, so percentage D is going to give us two digits of the mod with leading zeros. Example will be, uh, for example, we have zero one, uh, zero one we have 31 we have 29 and uh, etc 
percentage y is going to give us four digits of the year for example will be 2040 all right so this is going to convert the date to a human readable format for us and uh, lastly here we are going to encode the id of the user using the base64 encode function and i'm using this string as a delimiter to encode the id of the user now we can actually go over to the browser and uh, try to see how the information will be displayed so let's say i try to access the profile.php page it's going to say you are not authorized to view this page login not yet a member then you can uh, sign up so i'm going to click on login and log in as a demo user okay once we log in as the demo user we can then click on the profile.php and you see that the information of the user is being displayed here and we have the link here to edit the user profile if you can look at the very bottom of this screen you see that the uh, complete url is being displayed there at the bottom which is edit profile.php user identity the value of user identity is equal to uh, a string this is the encoded value of the user id Okay, so let me go over to the edas.php and show you the only thing that changed there. So in edas.php, the only thing that I changed there was just to add the uh, URL. In the next lecture, we're going to see how to update the profile information of the user.